<laughs> Normally, I call this the dreaded last day. But I couldn't wait for it to come around. I used to. <laughs> Can't eat baby swans. I said I'm going to eat the swans. He said I'll cry if you do. I said you won't because I'm going to eat. Oh, no, I said I'm going to kill the swans first. No, you can't. I'll cry if you do. I said don't worry because I'm going to kill you first. So come up here for me, bro. It's half past ten. So I asked Christine at nine o'clock to put the immersion here on. Just to get a little, because it won't like make it boiling, but it will warm the water up a bit. And then I heard the shower going. That bloody Kim but dim had only gone in, hadn't she? Well, I finally learnt that grape and grain plus four or five Southern Comforts definitely do not mix. I'm not drinking today until later on when Michael and Jackie come over. So I think basically we're just going to go back to the boatyard. Fuel and pump out, clean the boat. Actually, I could have a quick mop around on this side. That's a good idea, David. Mop this side now. And mop the other side when we're moored up. Well, it's been a great week. Weather's been a little bit, as you'll have seen, a bit hit and miss. Children, I'd like to hit more than miss very noisy so she, right, it'll be about two minutes before he starts crying if she keeps pinching him and things but he's, he's kicking her grandma sort him out so he's getting a little bit older now so he'll be kicking her head in in a bit I think he's got flat feet as well. Sounds like an elephant running about the boat. Stop banging, Kim says. You probably didn't hear that. Stop banging. Oh dear. Right, so. What excuse can I make? That, oh, that's it. Oh, sorry, Kim. Next summer. They're having the uh, twin bedroom refitted. So there's nowhere for them to sleep. Oh no, they could sleep on the double in the saloon, couldn't they? No, the saloon's been um, refitted as well. Oh, I haven't looked to see what the weather forecast is doing today, but it's it's overcast as you can see. Lovely meal in there last night. It is it is probably the most expensive pub. Oh, <laughs> cheeky little are you Dave? I'm gonna kill her. Not Christine, not by the way, that was Eliza. And it's probably the dearest place to eat on the broads, but it was nice. Actually, unless we, we may have had more drinks when we went to the White Horse, the White Horse at Chedgrave was um, about the same as it cost us here last night. Not that that's anything to do with me. I told you yesterday, I've spent all my money, I've got no more, none left. Christine, I wouldn't bother doing the outside if I were you, because I'll be putting the hose pipe on it later. Well, that would be easier to do it outside while it's safe here. Yeah. Alright then, I won't put the hose pipe on it later, I'll just try and do it with mop. Yeah. Right, Alright, crack on, I'm sorry to disturb you while you were busy. Yeah. I'll mute that out. You won't you won't be able to hear what she said. She don't realise I can get any one with me. Well 
as long as I've got money in the bank. Well, I told you this, but I did say to her the other week, I said, right, listen, I'm just letting you know that I'm going to be having an affair soon. <laughs> she just laughed. Huh? I was just laughed. I don't believe it. I think I might have said, though, she's 20 years younger than me. Not that I've actually got anybody in mind. Put your applications in the post. And pictures, please. <sighs> right, so I, well, I'm not going to disturb while she's doing that. So I think we'll just set off after. after she's finished. It's a long afternoon though, if you're just getting back to the marina. I have been told I've got to take the kids out the way while they clean the inside of the boat. Well, there's not much at Brundle really, other than the white iron. We do, I do actually need to go in there just to make sure they're doing food tonight because apparently the chef was ill last week so they didn't do any on one occasion the tide's whizzing out, look at them just having the drift down yeah I had the chicken supreme in um, peppercorn sauce, it was lovely that Christine had. Christine, what did you have last night for your meal? Okay. Jerk ham and eggs. Jerk ham and eggs. She said it was lovely. Kim and the kids had burgers. Well, Kim, had, well, Declan did really well with this. He had all his burger and a quarter of Eliza's. Eliza just had chips. I don't know what it is about burgers, I don't like them too much. So I think it's got to be white iron. I, well, if the white iron, it's either that or the, the chippy. No, it'll have to be white iron because I've arranged to meet Michael and Jackie at um, five o'clock. So we get the horrible things fed. First, and then a couple of beers and then back home until October bloody heck that's ages off isn't it it's a full season I wonder if she'd do the mopping if I asked her nicely Chris I mean he's really sore today do you think you could get them up and do the side of the boat? Um, yeah. <laughs> you see what I mean? You see what I mean? So anyway, I don't want to mention it. We see the Avtex thing on top. That's Wi-Fi, and it's worked really well all week. When we was down in February, they'd only just had it installed, and it come up on my phone. Um, connected, no internet, but it has worked all week, which is just as well because the television weren't working. And that's a bit weird. I don't know whether we've unplugged something by mistake, but the telly worked. If you, you know, you could press the source on your remote and choose which one you want HDMI, DV, whatever. Well, the, t the telly worked fine, and it always has done on this boat. The, the aerial's brilliant. And it worked on the first day, but then since then, I've not been able to get it to work. But, we did alright for the football. Although, we, we was, you are slightly behind, aren't you, when, you, when you've got it on the internet. So I'm in the family chat, aren't I? And getting notifications. 
but it comes up on my watch as well so I had to resist looking because I'm thinking oh there's a goal not knowing which side it was for obviously and then a minute later somebody scored knocking them up for breakfast yeah so I had to ignore that Grandma's giving them a lecture now. So they weren't drinking till the I'm thinking of going to the pub now, it's just opened. Oh I'll see. <laughs> no no. See. When they're sixteen they can oh no, that's even worse than any teenagers. I can't wait to get to bed. Peace and quiet when they're asleep. Well, I'm sick of all the abuse I get. Oh no. No, I can't have a minute's peace. So Eliza said to Christine, I'll be good all day for £10. And Christine said to her, why well, can't it be like your granddad? Be good for nothing. Only <laughs> my mouse, isn't it? Is this my mate? You're going too fast. Three and a half mile an hour. Right, yeah. See, it was against the tide though, so maybe there was a little bit of wash. But He'd have to prove it, wouldn't he? Right, what time is it? Quarter past eleven. I think we set off now. I think we might just pop to call them all. Mate, I don't know whether they want any lunch or a drink or what. I don't want to get back to the boatyard too early. Well, because they will do me editing. I've got to take them to the pub all afternoon while well, women, Christine and Kim, finish the boat. Mm. But I do need to pop in just to make sure they are doing food. Well, it's always to call them all, isn't there? something to eat there and back oh no because we need I think the kiosk closes about four o'clock five o'clock ish um, I'll have having breakfast then nobody's asked me about anything <sighs> I mean typical in it Yeah, he's not. He's on his phone. He's not even steering. Hey, do you want some breakfast, Dave? Uh, well, I'm, I'm hungry. Yeah. Are they on crumpets? Crumpets. Cheese on crumpets. She's got that. Sorry, I had a bit of breakfast though. It's caught picking the nose and eating it. I'll have to go on, won't I? And assert my authority. Well, I took her to the opera the other week. Nobody could leave till she sang. I'll have to zoom in on that because you can't see it from here. It's got a little eel in its mouth. <laughs> Just keep shaking it about.
You've been spotted. Is there water here? I don't think there is, is there? Oh, we're all right until we get back to the boatyard. What's the temperature supposed to be today? Right, 4.41. Six mile an hour down here. I'm not going any faster. I don't care what you say. Going with the tide. So, yeah, Brundle. Brundle Marina. We know when here, Brundle, Brundle Marina. Oh, what? 10:44. How can it still be falling then? It's 11.41. How does that work? Sometimes you have to reboot it. Degrees, oh my neck. Got my big coat on. It's going up to 22, 23 next week. Fifteen degrees and rain as well. What time's that happening? Oh, just as we're going up for to meet Michael and Jackie. Marvellous, marvellous I say. Let's see if it's rebooted it. Yeah. So that must have been from yesterday. Because it's now saying 11.19 water and the tide is rising so that's more like it isn't it uh, oops is that what sap off What do you want to do? Why have you been filming me down there? Filming my legs? Oh, no. <laughs> Shaving your legs, did you say? Dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was filming him doing his exercises. Hey. I've not done much filming on the way back down from Bramerton. Got 30 minutes left. I'm hoping to get away with that. So the plan now is we're just going to go in the colder mall I think and have a quick drink in there uh, whether they want any lunch or not I don't know although they've only just had the breakfast really so they're probably not um, then back to the marina get the water filled up well first of all we do the fuel and pump out but Christine wants us to go down past our marina which we will be doing towards Coldham Oil because 
So let's have a look at the lodge that we're staying in at, over Christmas. Well, New Year. Yeah. Wrong side of your mooring up there. Um, yeah, I'm expecting the fuel bill to be pretty, pretty high one this week because we've done quite a lot of cruising against the tide, especially on Saturday when we were trying to get to Alton Broad. I think we're on 2,000 revs virtually all the way there. Why is it so tiring this sort of holiday? Even yesterday, after I hadn't drunk anything hardly at all the day before, and had a really good sleep, I was falling asleep. Right. Independence, what's that doing there? It's not normally there. Or was it when we came out? Got squeezed past that on the way back in. Right. This moves about that. It's, it's been on the main river here. It's been round the, up there. Now it's there again. Well, there's plenty of room though, isn't there? Uh, yeah, fuel, fuel and pump out in a bit there. £25 per toilet all the charge. Right, where is this lodge then, missus? Apparently it's fairly basic. In fact, it's uh, it's got a pound meter for the electric. That's going to cost a fortune in winter, isn't it? All my pound coins that I've got, cause when I play snooker, we pay for two pound. And I've been saving them up. And over the last, I mean, it's, I'm never going to make a living out of it, am I? Over the last two years, I think about three years, I've got £124 in the pot. About 90 of it in pound coins. So Christine said, oh, they'll come in Andy, won't they, for the pound metre? Oh, yeah, thanks for that. All right, come on, where's the bummy lodge? Oh, she's looking down it. Have you seen it? Mrs. Have you seen the lodge? Yeah. Where is it? Very top one. Very top one. Very top one, does she mean? I don't know which one she means. Maybe that one. Well, because it does have a rowing boat. Right. Well, I'm not done the reed filter this morning. Do that when we get back. Hmm. 
I'll have to have a siesta. side. Has he got his, oh yeah, I thought his shoes were on the wrong feet then. I can't jump down there, I'll have to walk around. Such joy for me. Are you alright taking the kids with you? While we finish the cleaning? Oh, bloody marvellous, isn't it? Marvellous, I say. Ask him what his name is, Eliza. Hey. That man there. Oh, that good. Watch the rope, don't trip over it. Over. You jumped over it, didn't you? I don't think there's a play area here. Are you? So, uh, what? Uh, nothing, dear. Last time we came here, the beer garden over there were flooded. Right, what do you want to drink? Water? No. Oh. I want water. You want water? Good lad. Right, in we go. Hello, you all right? Hey, got nothing for you, sorry. Where's his dog stuff? Mm -hmm. <laughs> go. Go, what's up to go? Go, 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 go. So, I've just texted Christine and said, children extraction required. Don't shout that out in here. Granddad has an hairy bum. 
Oh. So I've sent for earplugs anyway. Well, not fitting me, that cork. Grief. Good grief. Where's he going? Uh, it's been doing not not. Right, Eliza. Who's there? Who? What's he saying? Ronnie. Ronnie who? Um, Doesn't make sense. Nick, uh, Eliza, knock knock. Nicholas. Nicholas girl shouldn't climb trees. Where's... It's plumbing freezing. Oh, yeah. I don't think it does anything, does it? Right, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to have a... Why is that sloping over to one side? Knees are clean, doesn't it now? Look at it. Oh, it's nice it's because it's. Well, it is, yeah. It's bloody cold. <laughs> so I don't really think I'm going to go for a cruise. So I'll just go and get some fuel and that's it. I mean freezing. Put your coat on, you muppet. Right. Nice in there, call them all. So we was going to go for a cruise, but we decided not to bother. So we're just going to get fuel and pump out now. It's like a peloton, isn't it? Big coat's back on. I've got my bubble hat on. It's Free. It's, well, it's not freezing, but it's 15 degrees at the most. Probably even less than that. <sighs> I don't know. Somebody was talking about having an heat wave in there before. And this guy who I thought I'd recognise from somewhere. So to a heat wave, are you having a laugh? You can't, they can't predict 24 hours in advance and it keeps changing every hour. <laughs> right, she got it wrong actually, with the uh, lodge. I think it's the one that me and Carl had a look in and thought, mm, no, weren't too impressed with them. Maybe that's why it's cheaper. Good grief. I'm in danger of shivering. Right, where's Sunset Lodge? I think it's just after this blue boat, isn't it? The one with the boys outside. Have you watched that on Prime? The boys? about like superheroes who are not really very nice. It's not for children anyway. Oh, oh, oh man, heck. Right, so I'm gonna, oh, I'll probably have to take them two as well, won't I? I'm gonna find out what time they're doing food from until.
didn't look too bad in there actually called them all I can honestly say that I've been in April and October when it's been warmer than this I've had a couple of nice days and that's about it so that's the one with the bench on that's yeah that's where we've stayed Actually nice that, it's quite nice inside there. Canoes still down by the side. Sunset Lodge. Hmm. Well, I hope I don't have to light for too long to get fuel. So I reckon it's the cream one at the end, me. It's nearer to the pub anyway. Can you feel the cold? Christine, it will be that side. All right, he's doing the of the lodge. Oh, there's the boat outside. We have to lighter, aren't we? To live done. Turn round and just. Uh, have to wait. Yeah, I mean, Carl walked up, and there was. Uh, we just had a quick look in these. There's two side by side. Christine reckons one is where the owners live, and we thought, oh no, we won't want to stay there. Anyway, better than freezing our jaffers off on the boat, I reckon. Right, come on, get that boat sorted. Too sure what time it closes this place, but don't want to be going around to the mooring, mooring up, and then coming back. So I'll just go for a little bit of a cruise up the river, eh? Oh, and it started to rain. Hi, thank you, thank you very much. You ready for going? Seats of room, isn't it? Oh, I just go a little bit farther up the river and then turn around. Give them a clue. Well, oh, they're not actually doing any work on it. I could have gone in there at the side, possibly. Uh, 
you have reached your destination. I wonder who owns that nowadays. Oh, come on, stop messing about on that boat. I'm going to go past these boats here and then turn round. But it's not even 15 degrees. Whinge about the weather. Whinge about the kids. All I've done is whinge. I like whinging. I don't like the moving, but I'm turning around now anyway, so we'll find out. I don't know what they're doing to it. It looks like I'm going to have to probably reverse into there. I'm going to go down that in there and just wait till they've finished. Oh, I think he's fueling up now. And then I'll put this down. We're going to reverse into the side bit, but the guy said, we'll have this one away in five minutes if you want to come back. I said, fair enough. That makes it easier. Oh. Christine suggested going through Sellingham Broad, but I'm on the wrong end of it. I suppose we could do. Come back up and then turn around, I suppose. See, they've gone. No, I don't think we'll go through Selling and Broad because it'd probably take about 15 minutes for us to get up there and through. I'm going to turn around after this boat. I know he doesn't squeeze in there. So I think it must be the, the guys who worked there took the boat round because it's Friday for, um, to do the work on it, pump fuel and pump out. I don't, I don't know that they have one actually further up in the marina. But I thought I'd recalled we was discouraged to use it on a Saturday because it's the turnaround day I might be wrong with that or it might be Friday morning oh I don't know anyway 
I don't mind just cruising up and down the river. Got me a big coat in my hat on. Can't hear the children too much. So tomorrow back home oh, I can hear the children now actually. Back home. See how Lucy's gone on with Tilly. She was going to some gig or something at Liverpool last night. It's still there, is it? Oh no, it's not it. Yeah, it is. Ah, uh, you can forget it, mate. We're here before you. No, see, I knew it. He wants to go in there now. No, go on. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. I said don't stop. We're next. I knew that would happen. I knew it. Sorry, mate, but uh, you'll have to wait your turn. I think they probably told him. They can do it from there anyway, can't they? Uh, I'll have to put you down. Look at the size of the back end on that boat there. Well, it, I was actually expecting it to be a little bit more than that. But then again, we haven't gone up north. 89.90. It's 175 a litre. The problem is, it's £25 pound a pump out. Are we off? Yeah. Right. Right. Cheers for that. Thank you. See you later. Right, windscreen's up. It's raining. I might have to leave it until the morning to clean this boat properly. I'm not doing it in the rain. Time is ten past three. I'll have a walk down to the White Erin to find out what time the food's being served or if it is being served. Actually, the kids will want mm, yeah. anytime soon. Need feeding, four o'clock ish. Well, what can I say about the weather that I've not already said? Not a lot. Oh, isn't it? It's that, do you know that fine stuff that wets you through? It's, it's that. Oh, actually, it's not that, it's that, no. I'm going to stick it out because we're almost there now. But it's coming down quite hard now. No, 
don't worry, don't worry, I'm a professional. I've never knowingly bumped the boat. Even though I can't see through my glasses. Well, another week that's just flown by. I'm at, I mean, I'm seriously looking forward to October. Two weeks, one week, complete mayhem with Clit and Carl. Oh, and if Carl lets me down at Domino's. <sighs> they went to Barmouth, didn't they, a few weeks ago, and Clit destroyed him. So, yeah, I don't know. So I said, I'd, I'd put one of those meme things on, didn't I? You are the weakest link, goodbye. Right, that's it for now. I might do a little bit in the morning. Oh no, I'll probably do a little bit in a bit. Hang on, what have I got? Ooh, one minute left on here, I'll have to get another card. Right, I'm not cleaning the cobwebs. Forget that. I gave it a good go, but it was raining. does need a bit of a clean. Well, me and you, eh? Oh, right. <coughs> right, it's quite past four, so... Hopefully they're doing food in here. Uh, for the kids, anyway. And... I'm not staying out for long with Michael and Jacqueline because I've got to drive the balloon car in my mind. I've still got things to do. Pack a few things away, clean up, blah blah, all that sort of nonsense. Where are they going? What are they doing? Don't tell me the pub's not open. Not that I'm bothered about it actually today. Oh, they're just going watching the train, aren't they? The train spotters. Burger, pasta, pasta, burger. Where's my crisp gone? I had crisps. Just sitting here now waiting for somebody to ask me if I wanted a chip. But no, it's not happened. <sighs> 20 past 7, peeing down, just had a good hour or so with Michael and Jackie, they are on Goosander for the week, hopefully the weather's going to be better for them, but it's been, it's not, it's not been absolutely awful, not like when me and Jeff were here, but it's not been brilliant, let's put it that way, so, The end is nigh. Oh dear. Uh, I've done this one, Senna. I'm, uh, I'm going teetotal for a week. Now this used to be Hmm, no, so, uh, yeah. They used to have like a bit of a cafe thing here. And that says internal cafe seating. So I was talking to the lad yesterday at the kiosk when we were doing the fuel and pump out. Has the sale gone through yet? And he said it, it was supposed to be done by the end of July. It was supposed to be done by the end of June. And I said, is it true that it's Clive Richardson that's buying it? And he said, yeah. That's what they've heard, but they don't tell them much. Yeah, it's uh, is Clive going to be using the sheds to build boats? More iron boats? 
Will Lightning still be welcome? Will there be more syndicate boats here? Watch this space. We will see. Alright, I'll get stuff passed out to me now. Well, I wanted to see Richard at Snug Tops just to tell him that we hadn't forgotten about him. Uh, oh. Where are they? Eliza's striking. Don't want to go home. Missus is ready for off. I think we're all feeling a little bit rough today. I'll call it poisoning, probably. But well, it can't be that. Well, it can, I suppose. I haven't had much. I only had a couple yesterday and the day before. And three cans. I know it wasn't. No. No, 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 no. No, that was Wednesday, weren't it? The day after bad boy Billy led me astray. So that's us now until October. Got new owners coming down today, meeting up with the chairman to do a handover. Which is something we should do on Thunder, really, but it's, I haven't got transport, so it's difficult for me to get down. Come on, Kim, what are you doing? Oh, where's she going now? So that'll be a couple of hours before we stop at the mountain shop, whatever it's called. Yeah, dear, she stopped crying. Can't see her from here. Yeah. Right, it's 13th of October, 20th, 27th. Uh, uh, eh, what am I on about? October, 13th of July, 20th, 27th. 4th, 11th, 18th, 25th, this is in the centre. Oh, come on, it's coming. It's 12 weeks away, isn't it? Uh, I'm getting in the car, get the engine started. Oh, what have I done with my vanity bag? Oh, I should have checked, wouldn't you? 